Hi, Christmas crew, it's Shannon, and welcome to a special mystery box edition of The Cozy Christmas Cottage. Thank you to Courtney over at Creative on the Cheap for hosting this fun challenge. Lots of us creative DIY YouTubers have come together to create a playlist for you all today. Thank you so much to Kelly Barlow Creations for sending me my mystery box. And there are some twists and some surprises in this mystery box challenge. And one of those was The Grinch. And many of you probably know that is my absolute favorite Christmas movie. So I took that a little bit literally or a lot bit literally and sent my box over to Jamie, the crafty DIY guy. So after you're done watching my video, head over to him and watch and see what I sent him in his mystery box. So what's in this box? Well, there's supposed to be eight Dollar Tree items and two challenge items. One of the challenge items has to do with automobiles in some way. Why? I don't know. That's something Cordy came up with. And then the other thing it has to be something to do with the Grinch, but not necessarily the Grinch. It just had to be an item that started with one of the letters in the word Grinch. And my absolute favorite part about the Mystery Box Challenge for the month of December is that we also are encouraged to do a random act of kindness. So this year I put together a three-tiered cart for delivery drivers as a thank you. It has been fun to watch back our ring camera footage to see thank all you. the thank yous come through. So I really hope that this also encourages you all to do your own random act of kindness this holiday season too. Now for the box. What is in here? I have no idea. I just popped open the tape and we're gonna find out together. Card. All right, I had to get my glasses. These are my cute little Christmas ones that you can switch out. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun with them. Um, it says, craft like no one is watching. Shannon, I hope that the contents of this mystery box brings you some inspiration in the name of kindness. I can't wait to see the creative touches that you put on these items and what you come up with. I have no doubt that you will create something spectacular. More than that, I hope you have fun. Happy crafting, my new DIY friend. Hugs, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first off the bat, it says, as a random act of kindness, would you help by giving these four gift cards to four random people the next time you're at Dollar Tree? That'll be fun, absolutely. Oh, and then a sweet little gift, a little something for you. Some snuggly socks, and oh my goodness, I love these vanilla cream caramels. Yum. All right, now let's see what's in this box. All right. All right, so we have challenge item number two. This one is G for Grinch. I'm gonna save that one because I'm excited about that. Challenge item number one, something from automotive. Kind of scared about this one, but let's see what regular items are in here. Oh, so um, just, you're just so sweet, Kelly. Just some fun kindness matters decals. Maybe I'll pass those out with the gift cards. So I saw this rainbow decal and decided I was gonna keep this one. I just redid this wall in my crafting studio. You all know I love rainbows and all the colors. So I found the perfect spot on my new pegboard to add the decal to. So just a reminder of this special mystery box challenge. And these vinyls spell out kindness. Don't feel like you have to use those. Okay, but you never know, maybe I will. All right, so we have, here's some transfer tape if you need it. it. Says seven wood squares. There's seven letters in the word kindness. Is she helping me out here? I don't mind a little help when it comes to the mystery box. We have these wood curls. I've never used these in my crafting before, but I've seen them before. Now we'll see if I'll use them. All right, a book. I love the Dollar Tree it carries books. Love decorating with books, so I can handle that. Pears, let me take these off. All right, so we have some pears. Three, three pears. Partridge in a pear tree, maybe? Maybe that's what I need to do here. We have happy, maybe happy holidays. We have some wood gift tags, wood beads, some burlap trim, 3D wreath forms. Love this DIY letter board. We can spill out something fun on there. Cute, a cutting board wood cutout, a wood scoop, that'll be fun. And houses with a cutout that says gather. So I'm loving all the regular things in the box. Definitely have some ideas there. Now let's see what the challenge items are. Let's do the automobile one first. Cute red truck. Okay, 
Okay. <laughs> The steering wheel cover. I like that it's white, so you know, maybe a little snowman action going on there, but wait and find out. I'll let you know. And now the G for Grinch. What is this? Please don't be goop. Please don't be slime. That's my only thing. Please don't be slime. Okay. Okay, it's not slime. Okay. Weird. Okay. It is Garden Edger. And I think I might have sent this to Natalie at Design to the Dimes as a challenge item before too. So it's a little bit of payback right now, but it is green. So maybe something Grinchy. I'm going to gather some ideas together and then we're going to get to crafting. Goodness, honey, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We got to come up with some ideas with all this stuff. Okay. We got, we got to get creative here. We gotta get really creative here. One of the traditions that we have here at the Cozy Christmas Cottage is we create a snowman themed video each year. So I have three from the past. Why not make the mystery box challenge even more challenging? And I decided this is going to be our snowman themed video for this year. And I'll have the others linked at the end of this video and in the description box below. So you can go ahead and watch those. If you want to go back and watch the other ones, if you love snowmen, definitely worth a watch, but we are going to turn all these mystery items into snowman themed projects. As soon as I saw these wood squares, I instantly thought graham crackers. So we're going to make a snowman s'mores themed decor piece for Christmas time or it actually work really great for winter time too. So we're gonna take our lighter colored paint, paint our squares front and back, and then here's a little tip. Take your darker brown paint, mix it in with the light paint just a little bit. It's gonna help everything blend really well, and then take that darker color and go around the edges. It's gonna give us that kind of toasted graham cracker look. And you're also gonna drag your paintbrush down the center of your wood piece, and that is going to give us that kind of breaking point in the graham cracker and give us that faux graham cracker look. So we've done that with our two uh, wood pieces. We're going to flip them over to the back side and this side we are just going to paint the lighter color. You don't really have to get too fancy with it. You're not going to see this side so much. We just want to make sure that we have a nice finished look in the end. And then once that's dried, flip it over back to the front side, grab a darker brown paint pen or you could just take your darker brown paint and the end of a paintbrush and make little dots kind of in a dice style, I guess is the way to put it. And that way we have what looks like the little indentions of our graham crackers. So now time to make our marshmallow, which is going to be made out of some stiff white felt. We are going to cut this in half lengthwise. And if you're not aware, you can actually cut felt with a paper trimmer. You just want to make sure you have a really sharp blade and run the blade across it a few times until it will split apart in the middle. Then we're going to take some paint pens here and draw on our snowman face. So just some dots for the eyes, the mouth and an orange carrot nose. Now you can't have a s'more without chocolate. So I have some dark brown colored uh, hot glue sticks that I put into my hot glue gun. You can actually get these in a ton of different colors and I will make sure to link the hot glue sticks I'm using here along with all the other supplies I'm using in today's video down in the description box. You can find it easily if you want to recreate any of these projects. And to do this, it is so easy. You just like regular hot glue, kind of squeeze it out onto the felt. I kind of made it drippy at the top and kind of let it settle down on the bottom so it didn't stick up like a normal chocolate would melt. And then once your hot glue dries, flip it to the back side, take regular hot glue, run it down the edge of one of those sides, and then turn it into a cylinder shape. So you're going to connect the ends in the back. And then to finish it off, come back in with your brown hot glue sticks and kind of finish up the edging in the back so it all meets. So how cute is this little snowman marshmallow guy? And now we can start putting this all together. So add some hot glue onto the bottom of your marshmallow, center it on your graham cracker, the side that has the dots on the top, add some more hot glue around that top edge and sit your other graham cracker on the very top there. Again, with your dots on this side facing up.
I think he is just the cutest little thing, even though he's not very small. He is actually pretty good sized. So you could definitely see him sitting on a shelf added to your kitchen decor, a coffee bar, a hot cocoa bar, or just added in if you have a snowman collection. The next item we're going to work on from the box is our book. And as soon as I saw this, I thought, let's do something with Christmas carols. But remember, we are doing snowman themed projects today. So wait until you see which ones I chose. We're going to take the book, flip to the middle, and then kind of bend the spine back and forth until your book lays flat open by itself. Then you're going to need some Mod Podge. I like to use the matte Mod Podge so it doesn't look too shiny and it doesn't look like it, it pretty much just disappears, which is nice. Take a foam paintbrush, add a generous amount of Mod Podge onto all of the edges. That's going to help keep our pages from flipping back closed. Now I have a free printable for you with our Christmas carols, Frosty the Snowman, and of course, Let It Snow. So you're going to print these out on regular computer paper and cut them down to the size of your book pages so it will seamlessly just kind of look like a page out of the book. Once we have those cut down to size we're going to come in with some more Mod Podge and we're going to add some more to each page one at a time. So put a small amount onto one side, add your Christmas Carol page on top of it, and then we're going to move over to the next page and add the second page of Christmas Carols. So the pages that I printed are of course on bright white computer paper, but the pages in the book were a little bit creamy tinted yellow color. So we're going to fix that. We're going to make this all blend together, add some Mod Podge to a plate and a little bit of dark yellow paint into your Mod Podge, mix it all together, and it's going to tone our Mod Podge to the same color as our book. So it all blends nicely. So you're going to take that Mod Podge, put a thin layer and coat on top of your Christmas Carol pages and also around all the edges again. So that way we get a nice cohesive look of color once it dries. One extra tip I would mention is if you get any onto the actual cover of the book, take a baby wipe, wipe it around, and it'll get off that tinted color because we don't want the book cover to be tinted, just the pages. Let it sit overnight and look at this. It's hard as a rock, completely all uh, glued open, so it will become a nice decorative piece for you for the holidays. You could do this for different Christmas carols if you want, but we are staying with the snowman theme here, and I think it looks super cute, either on a fireplace, mantle, or a shelf. And now we're going to keep things pretty simple with this DIY uh, letter board. And I was trying to find something that would fit on this letter board because it's pretty small. And the only thing I could really find was let it snow for a little saying to go on here. But you can also, of course, make it say whatever you want. Um, I thought walking in a winter wonderland would be pretty, but <laughs> obviously there's only so much room. So put let it snow in there and then we're going to dress it up just a little bit with some wood cutouts. You can get these at Dollar Tree, paint them white, and then simply hot glue them onto the front of your letter board. If you wanted to reuse this letter board and keep using it for different holidays and seasons, you could also just use some sticky tack to put your wood decorative pieces onto the front. That way you can take those off and change out the letters and saying depending on the season. So I know in the intro I said partridge in a pear tree with these pears, but now we're doing snowman themed crafts. So I was a little bit stumped as to what in the world <laughs> we were going to do with these things. So we're going to turn them into snowmen. I'm gonna try anyway. So we just cut off the tags, cut off the stems of the pears, and we're gonna paint these white. It is a little bit helpful if you just kind of punch a hole in the bottom of the pears and then add a barbecue skewer onto the bottom there. That way it's gonna hold it in place for you as you are painting it and then you're gonna get paint all over your hands. It did take two coats of paint for these to get some good coverage, let it dry completely, and then we're gonna start adding the detail. So this is once it's dried, again with our paint pens. I absolutely love these paint pens. I will link them down in the description box below for you. Again, just making some little dots for the eyes, dots for the mouth, and making a orange carrot nose.
And then I just happen to have one of these tiny little top hats from Hobby Lobby. They're $1.87 each. Kind of nice to keep around during the holiday season for making snowmen like this. Added some hot glue to the inside of there and sat it on top of his cone head. Kind of helped hide that. And then that was pretty much it. But I still had two more pairs and I was out of hats, so we had to get a little bit creative on these other two. Decided to make some earmuffs. So to do that, I had some red and white twisted candy cane style pipe cleaners and some red pom-poms that I just hot glued onto the ends there to make his own little pair of earmuffs. You can still kind of see his cone head, but I think, you know... Sometimes snowballs aren't perfectly round anyway. I decided to leave them on the barbecue skewers and pop them into this styrofoam um, set that I had with candles and some greenery in it, but you could take them off the barbecue skewers and maybe lay them in a bowl or just kind of set them on a shelf. Now to our first challenge item. I was a little stumped by this, but I actually came up with two ideas using this garden edger. So. First things first, we're gonna work on a top hat. So this is a bigger top hat that I got from Hobby Lobby. I actually got it for my son so he could use it for building snowmans this winter time when it actually eventually snows hopefully around here. But he's just gonna have a really fancy top hat now. So we're also gonna pair this with some other items from the mystery box, but let's start with this edger. We're gonna wrap it around the hat first and kind of use it as ribbon. And it's perfect, especially since we're gonna be using this outside in the snow eventually, it should really hold up. So I did have to cut it down. I cut it the length it needed to be to go around the hat, and then I cut it down to a height that would look nice once it was glued to the hat. So this material is actually really easy to cut through with your scissors, and it's also super easy to just hot glue it right around the edging of the hat. Then we're going to use a couple other items from the mystery box, our burlap trim. I just picked one. It was plenty long enough to just add a little stripe right around the middle of the edging and just dress that up a little bit. So just hot glue that right on there all the way around and cut it down to size. And then we're also going to come in with a couple other things to dress this hat up too. This is really starting to come together nicely. Looks pretty good already, but we're gonna add some more embellishments, including some faux greenery, just hot gluing that off to one side. And we're also gonna use those wood roses from Dollar Tree in our mystery box. I grabbed two of those out and hot glued those to the center of the greenery. So I definitely think I need to use these wood roses a lot more often. They look so pretty on this hat. But then I also thought, you know what? It needs a little bit more color. So I grabbed some of these berries from Dollar Tree and hot glued them in there here and there to give a little bit more Christmas cheer. And that's all there was to dressing up this top hat that is still 100% going to be my son's for the wintertime so he can make real snowman once it snows. I would love to know, do you get a lot of snow during the winter where you are? We live in the Midwest, so it can kind of be hit and miss around here. We haven't got any snow yet this winter time, but my son is so looking forward to it. Winter time and snow are his absolute favorite things, and our puppy Honey is such a snow bunny too, so we're really looking forward to it. So I did mention that I have another idea using this challenge item and it is super easy too. So we're gonna take that garden edger and we're gonna take our scissors and cut a small length off the end into a rectangle shape. Take your scissors and then cut off the corners at an angle equally on both sides. And then we're gonna take a hole punch and punch a hole into the top here. I'm using a crocodile here. I've used this for a long time and maybe you wanna add it to your Santa wish list too. It is so nice because it has two different size hole punches on it and it's heavy duty. So it'll go through wood, thicker plastics. And if you do uh, paper crafting, it even has a brad setter on it. So that's kind of a bonus, but I use it for the hole punch mainly, especially for thicker items like this plastic that I'm showing you today. 
I also decided to use the red and white twine that Kelly included in the mystery box to make everything look pretty and using it for the top of this gift tag that we're creating out of that plastic and then using some paint pens and some chalk markers to decorate on them. Of course, you can make your own design, whatever you want on here and add a to and from, but we're sticking with that snowman theme. So here is a cute little snowman, super easy to draw on there. And here's another idea too, just adding a snowman head to the front of this gift tag. So now we're going to work on that wood cutout cutting board. I saw this idea on Pinterest and thought it was so cute. So we have to give this a try with this mystery item. We are going to take it and turn it into a snowman, of course. And that bottom part is going to be his head. So we're going to make that white with some paint. And then we need a paint stir stick. I'm using some tin snips here to round out the edges or the ends of a paint stir stick. I love these. They're going to save your nice scissors. You don't use those. These things are only five bucks at Walmart. Walmart, grab them from the hardware section. I'll link them down below for you too. An absolute must to have in your craft stash. Works great on popsicle sticks and plastics and things like that that you don't want to ruin your scissors on. So once I got that paint stir stick cut down to size, we're going to take some black paint, paint the stir stick and the top and handle of our cutting board. Once that paint has dried, take some hot glue, add it to the edge of your black paint on the cutting board and lay the stir stick into the glue. This is going to be the brim of our snowman's hat. Now it's time to give our snowman a face. So I am using some acrylic paint here to give him some rosy pink cheeks and then loving those paint pens as much as I can. And they are so handy to free handing designs like the snowman's faces in a lot of these projects. Dots for eyes, dots for the mouth and a orange carrot nose. You can dress it up even more if you want, adding some ribbon to the brim of the hat. I just kind of cut off the excess and then had a cute little holly leaf that was from Hobby Lobby that I added and hot glued onto the front of the hat over the ribbon. These make great larger sized ornaments that you can add to your Christmas tree, but you can also add this to your kitchen or just to whatever little area in your home that needs a little Christmas happiness or to your snowman collection. Now for the 3D wreath forms. This one turned out even better than I could have imagined. I love it so much. We're gonna make a snowman wreath. We're gonna take the largest and smallest sized rings off of this hoop and we're gonna use that for the head and the body of the snowman. You do have to take some wire cutters and trim off the little metal pieces that are sticking up in the larger one. And then we're gonna come in with some of this really thick yarn. I got this from Hobby Lobby, 50% off. So a really good deal. I had some leftover from another project so it goes pretty far we're just going to cut a long length of it off of the skein and then we're going to knot it onto one of those wreath forms and we're just literally going to start wrapping and wrapping the wreath with the yarn a little tip here is to take some hot glue and add a little dot underneath your uh, knot that we tied in the beginning that'll keep it in place for you as we are winding this yarn around the entire wreath so it doesn't come unwound on you as you go. So once you get all the way around the wreath, we're just going to take that little tail and tie a knot so this all stays together. And then we are literally just going to repeat that for our second wreath until it is covered as well. Definitely wish it was that easy, but it is still pretty easy. We're going to take both these wreaths and attach them together. Do it where the knots are because we're going to cover that up and then you won't see it. And then this is the fun part. Grab some fairy lights. You can't find these at Dollar Tree, but these are my absolute favorite. They're cheaper than Dollar Tree and they're longer and they have much smaller battery packs. So I'll link those down below for you as well. I use these in everything during Christmas time and winter time and fall time and some, it's just great all year long. I love adding lights to things and they look so pretty once you get them wound all the way around into the yarn of your wreaths. Watch the light pop on. Super pretty, right? So we can have that warm, cozy glow with our snowman. And then it's time to embellish. So this is a fleece scarf from Dollar Tree. We're literally just going to cut this down to size, cut the fringe off the end because we're going to make our own here in just a second. Cut this down to size, wrap it around the neck and tie a knot.
go ahead and hot glue the front in place but not the back we want to be able to get to that battery pack and then cut little slits in the bottom of your scarf to make new fringe now for the top hat of our snowman. I only had the like regular felt and I really wish I would have had black stiff felt for this because it would have made the process a little bit easier. So if you're out shopping, grab black stiff felt for this. But we're gonna use this gray piece to cut out the shape of our hat first and then cover it with a regular black felt. So we still have some structure to our hat so it doesn't just flop over. And then hot glue your hat onto the top. I did mine offset a little bit, but if you want your straight you can do that too. We're going to take some of the leftover fleece from our scarf and use that as an embellishment to the hat, just hat gluing a little strip right across the brim. You can find these little bags of floral pieces in the floral section at Dollar Tree and it has some pine cones in it and other things. So I used that along with some cut down pieces of greenery to attach onto the hat to decorate it up just a little bit more. So of course this would look so so cute hanging on your front door instead of a wreath but also really cute to hang on the wall or off of a hook on a cabinet so wherever you need some snowman decor in your home and then also a little bit of light to add some coziness with those fairy lights. And now on to our next challenge item, which was this white steering wheel cover, which luckily looked like snow to me. And also these wood cutouts and this happy sign, except we're going to dismantle the happy sign. There's some screws on there and the happy part comes out. We're just gonna use the wood part on the bottom and start taking apart the steering wheel cover to make a snowy winter scene. So take the steering wheel cover, cut it up, cut it apart and then stretch it out, get all the elastic out from the sides and then hot glue it onto the wood piece. We're just gonna kind of wrap the edges around so it will cover all the wood and then cut off any excess. And now we're gonna grab out our gather wood house letters and we're gonna cut the letter part off. We're just gonna use the house parts. Again, coming in with those awesome $5 10 snips that are gonna go through this wood like butter. And we're going to then add a little bit of detail onto these. I ended up only using five of the houses, the tallest ones that I could get once I cut those letters off. And we're gonna come in with a really cool product. It's called Snow Tex. It is like a textured, paint that looks like snow. It's super cool. I just use a foam paintbrush to dollop it on there. You kind of want to leave it looking 3D and then it dries super quick too, just like regular acrylic paint does. So it's nice that you don't have to let these sit overnight before you can use them. Once it is dry and it has set up, we're going to take some hot glue and glue them onto the back side of our wood piece that is now covered with the snow. Waiting for Santa tonight. He climbs down the chimney so here's our little mini snowy village we're going to add some accessories on here too i grabbed these little mini figurines from dollar tree it had a snowman in there perfect added some little mini bottle brush trees to it these ones from Dollar Tree work perfect for it too. You get these in a pack of eight and you can just set those onto the snowy bottom and have a cute miniature snowy village. Falling down and follow Rudolph fall across the town. Lay it with me under the mistletoe while Santa's busy saying ho ho ho. We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake and then Next from the box, we're going to use the beads, which made me think of snowballs and also the wood scoop. We're going to grab out our snow text again. This is our textured snowy paint. I will link it down below for you. And we are going to take a popsicle stick and kind of put it into the bottom of the scoop along with the edges where we added the snow.
Now you could use your wood beads and paint them to look like snowmen. However, I already had these from Hobby Lobby in a prior video. So we're gonna save some steps here. I just dumped this box onto a plate so I could find the pieces that I needed and put the little snowmen together with some glue instead of some string, which is what you would probably normally do. We have a cute little mini snowman that we're then going to hot glue into the snow on our scoop. Take more of your snow text and we're gonna pack it around the bottom of the snowman so it looks more like he's sitting in the snow versus just laying on top of it. Now in comes our wood beads. We are gonna turn these into snowmen or snowballs with that snow text. So just use a foam paintbrush, kind of dab it on there so you get a snowy texture, let it dry and then add some hot glue to the top of the scoop. And we're going to put these three beads together and stack them one on top of each other. You can leave it as is, or if you want to turn this into an ornament, you just take some string, tie a knot, and then hot glue the knot onto the top of your snowballs so it will then hang. Extra little detail here is just adding a tiny little ribbon bow to the top and hot glued on there for some color. This is so cute, obviously add it to a Christmas tree as an ornament or add it to a tiered tray. I've been making some faux Christmassy items like hot cocoa and some other scoops. So I just kind of added it to my collection and added some Dollar Tree jingle bells in there too to add some fun. I just think it's so cute and like most of this stuff is handmade minus that snowflake on the bottom and everything else is either Dollar Tree or handmade. So you get a really cute collection going as you start crafting. So the only thing I did not use out of my mystery box were these wood gift tags, but I actually do plan on using them. I'm gonna use them to put on my kids' Christmas gifts this holiday season. So thank you again to Kelly for sending me my items. And don't forget to head over to Jamie, the crafty DIY guy next. See what Grinchy items I secretly sent to him. And thank you to everybody that joined me today. I'll have the playlist for everybody that's involved in this mystery box challenge linked down in the description box below. Let me know which one of these projects was your favorite in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Have a very happy holiday.